Saudações delícias, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no meu Lúcio, eu sou o Caio Nobre Meus amigos, vamos para mais um vídeo de God of War Ragnarok nesse canal delicioso Sim, rapaz, mais um videozinho aí de bastidores que eles liberaram pra gente nos canais do Playstation ao redor do mundo né? Aqui eu tô com o canal Playstation Brasil, onde teremos legendas em português Pra gente poder acompanhar tudo que vai ser dito E desta vez, meus amigos, eles trouxeram um vídeo sobre evolução do combate e dos inimigos Pra gente poder conferir aqui Todos juntinhos, poder ver como é que tá essa parada Que vai ser lançada aí, né, o God of War Ragnarok No caso, no próximo dia 9 de novembro Então já deixa o likezão, se inscreve no canal Ativa o sininho pra não perder a notificação dos próximos vídeos É uma regra do YouTube Se vocês não ativarem, vocês não recebem os nossos vídeos Lembrando que nós já estamos com o God of War Ragnarok, meus amigos E teremos análise aí aqui no canal E no nosso site do Meia Lua Muito em breve, acessem o site que tá aqui embaixo No comentário fixado também Então vamos lá, meus amigos, sem mais delongas Conferir aí este videozinho delicioso From a combat perspective, I always uh. and I still feel like the meat and potatoes of any God of War game is combat. É, com certeza, né? Vejo, vejo os clássicos, por exemplo. Combate é muito importante nesse sentido. Tá. Deixa eu só ajustar um pouquinho aqui, pessoal. Combate inimigos my elevados. Uh, Roberto Clemente, uh, all my friends call me Bert. Uh, I'm a senior combat <laughs> animator here at Sony Santa Monica. My name is Kim Nguyen and I'm a gameplay animator. Hi, I'm Animador Sandra de gameplay. and I'm a senior VFX artist on God of War de efeitos visuais. My name is Grace Pan and I'm a gameplay animator in God of War Ragnarok. Hi, I'm Steven Rao with GBA, combat designer on God of War. And I create interesting and memorable creatures that players like to attack and defend against. Ah, o cara cria inimigos, ó, os inimigos do jogo. You gave life to nice. You make them move, you gave them personalities, you gave them weight. My role as a VFX artist is to put the power behind a move. You are in control hmm. of fire and earth and water. Colocar and o poder wind. por trás do movimento, o impacto. Or on the receiving end of an enemy spell, VFX is what really gives the movement and the danger to every move that a character or enemy makes. I work really Nossa. closely with the design team and the tech art team on this project specifically. We actually work a lot with camera, along with the guidance of our great camera team. So Muito I find legal, myself man. doing fight choreography sometimes. Muito doido, né, bicho? Parts about being a combat designer isn't the technical implementation of creating a creature, but it's really navigating that line between frustrating and engaging. We want to make something that makes players lean forward and focus and really try hard against an enemy and feel good about overcoming that, but we don't want to make them feel defeated if they can't figure something out. And then it feels rewarding when you win, not because it was impossible, but because it was fun and engaging. After the last game, we've heard the community cry out for more mini bosses, bigger creatures, and mm, enemies. Some chefs, and this time it really into that. So in God of War Ragnarok, ah. we really travel into all nine realms, and each realm is going to have like its own theme of enemies that are very unique to that space. For example, in Alpha, ah, que legal, mano. Cada reino tem um inimigo específico baseado naquela região, do conceito artístico daquela região, vamos dizer. Os elfos lá tem os elfos e Alfheim e assim vai, né? As criaturas de As criaturas de Svartalfheim também. In the last game, Atreus was just starting to fight alongside Kratos and he was learning from the master tactician. So in this game, he's trying to prove himself a little bit more and we built upon those mechanics with him. The previous God of War, Atreus was still a kid, right? So he has a lot of dependency Tô falando um pouco mais do Atreus agora, tá? For this game, you will see Atreus moving more independently on his own as a companion. Hmm. É, porque antes, né, no, no outro God of War, né, ele, tipo, o Kratos ia escalar, ele ficava nas costas dele e tal. Agora ele tem ações mais independentes, realmente, como eles estão falando, né? E moving into Ragnarok, we want to really make something bigger, make it stronger, make it more of a spectacle. You want them to be like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that the Blades of Chaos could get even better, but look at that. 
É, eles fizeram um, up, um upgrade no combate, pelo que eles estão falando, né? And newer abilities that will increase the combat depth of each weapon. For the blades, one of the moves that I've really enjoyed from previous God of War is the combat grapple, and we're going to be bringing that with a new twist. I'm very excited for players to try to play. A investida para frente ali que eles mostraram. Saiu um fogo depois ali, vocês viram? So much more speed into the movement and the dynamic feel to it. One of the ways we've expanded Kratos' combat this time around is we've given more utility and choice to his shield loadout. If you are a parry person, you could really go for a shield that gears towards parrying. If you're a big blocker, then you could choose a shield that will really match your playstyle. One new mechanic or element that I'm really excited about is these combo finishers. Building up the stun meter this time around is going to lead to different ways to basically decapitate the enemy. Hey, toma. Mano, o gore desse jogo, pelo que estão mostrando aí, parece que tá mais elevado, né, velho? Another feature that we've added for Kratos is his new pre-fall attacks. You could jump off a ledge, and if there's a new slide down, he can jump off a ledge. Oh my God! 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 In God of War Ragnarok, we've enhanced the Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more, be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you, and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. Some of the new expanded companion actions that you'll see. Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more, be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you, and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. Some of the new expanded companion actions that you'll see. Kratos and Atreus duo. He's going to initiate a little bit more, be aggressive. He's going to fight alongside you, and sometimes even surprise you with his combo abilities too. Some of the new expanded companion actions that you'll see Atreus do leverage the fact that he's older now, he's bigger now, and he's different from Kratos, so his magic has a different flavor. Ah, que legal, mano. Eles mostram ali as opções do Atreus em combate quando tá junto com a gente ali, pá. Ó, os combos, as magias, que são bem diferentes do que o Kratos usa, né? Que o Kratos é bem mais agressivo, na verdade, né? Nossa, velho, a luta dupla com as Valkyrie, irmão. And it takes testing and just seeing what works to really figure out the personality of something. Basically, every department gives it their all to make things really spectacular. There were a lot of different times that I would look back at God of War games just through the ages before 2018. There were so many amazing, huge boss fights and set pieces that it was a huge inspiration for me. On my time on this project. Ah, pelo que deu para entender, então eles vão recriar esse tipo de luta épica agora no Ragnarok, né? Basically making them a combat puzzle, similar to like chess, and focusing on the chess pieces. Each piece has its own theme and its own use. You need to be able to see what's happening in an instant and be able to react as the player. There's a couple of different ways that we go into making an attack very readable for the player. Sometimes we add a signature audio cue, or we'll add the different rings, such as what we did in the last game, that lets you know that this attack is unblockable. You need to dodge it. There's so many different ways. É, deu para poder ver mesmo ali os círculos. Really helps not just show what an enemy is about to do, but show who the enemy really is. Ah, Torzão. Surrounding the essence of the character in a story, it's what makes it believable and memorable in the first place. I think what I'm most excited about is for players to experience the diversity of enemies that this game has to offer. You will be fighting everything from small little creatures to things that will take up the entire screen. Essa senhora, esse bichão, velho. I think each one looks so much different from the next one, and each of them have their own playstyles and their own little fantasies that go into it. And so, I think if you are really into Norse mythology, you'll be very interested to see how Sony Santa Monica has taken some of these creatures and interpreted them for God of War. Everything that goes into the game, there's emotion behind it and intent behind it. And by the time it gets to you, everything that you've seen that you're going to play and experience. Has been sweated over, bled over, tested, and it's fun to play. É 
É, é, meu amigo. Pô, ali eles mostraram uma, vari uma variedade insana de inimigos em cada um dos reinos. E um dos detalhes legais que eles comentaram é que cada um dos reinos tem seus inimigos próprios. Tipo assim, os inimigos que você vê em um reino não vão se repetir no outro, entendeu? Talvez um ou outro, né? Não sei. Mas eles disseram que cada reino vai ter a sua identidade ali. Eles trabalharam melhor aí as habilidades do Atreus para poder casar melhor ali com o Kratos, né? Os dois e os... quando os dois estão lutando juntos, no caso. Rapaz, muito, muito legal, sabe? Muito foda mesmo, assim. E eu acho foda também, pessoal, a gente vê essa questão dos bastidores, a captura de movimentos eles falando ali, e eles trazendo detalhes da parte de desenvolvimento. Mas não sei se muitos, assim, se interessam por isso, né? Por esse ponto. Mas eu, pelo menos, gosto bastante. Eu acho legal de trazer, pra gente poder conhecer um pouco mais do processo por trás de como foi fazer o God of War Ragnarok, sabe? Então, assim, meus amigos, é isso. Eu não posso comentar muito mais aqui a respeito, né? Espero que vocês tenham gostado aí desse videozinho. Comenta aqui embaixo o que vocês acharam, mano. Como é que tá o hype de vocês aí pro God of War Ragnarok. Eu vou adorar ver os comentários de cada um de vocês aí. Vou ficando por aqui. Um beijo pra todo mundo. Até mais. E fuemos, meus amigos.